Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can make a loot bag spawn at the AI's location when they die. So what I mean by that, as of right now, when I do kill this AI character of ours, it just completely disappears into thin air. What I'm going to be showing you how to do is make a little bag pop up at the AI's feet and then when the player runs over and collects it, um, it's going to bring up another window where they'll get some random items inside of it. As for the window for the item collection and everything, that's going to be for another video, but what I will be doing today is showing you how to get the bag to spawn at the AI's foot location. So it's a really cool system and it's going to look really great and I can't wait to get it in. So starting off with things, what I've got to do then is actually create the object that the player is going to pick up, so what drops from the AI. Now for now, because this is going to have interactivity, I am simply going to create a blueprint class. Now because I'm going to have functions inside of that pickup later on to spawn items in the player's inventory and all that good stuff, I'm going to make sure it's interactive so it's got to be a blueprint rather than just a static mesh. So create the blueprint class from your content browser and create the class type actor. Give this the name loot pickup for now and then inside of this we've got to add a few components. So starting off we need the visual representation of this object, so that's going to be the static mesh. So open this up and then for the static mesh, if you just go and type in gold mesh, uh, so if you go ahead and type in gold underscore bag underscore pickup, you're going to see it's going to put this into our scene just like this. So. As of right now, it doesn't have a material, so we can't really, uh, you know, see it in all of its glory. So what I'm going to do is quickly find that material for this bag that we've got here, and then we can use it. Now, for those of you that don't have this bag, it is inside of the Infinity Blade effects pack, so make sure you do have that and you will be able to use this bag, material, effects, and all of the good stuff. So, go to effects, type in gold and then you should find a little material called M underscore gold bag. Select it, so just click it once, and then inside of this window, just go ahead and, and just assign it to element zero, and then that will give you a bit of color to your gold bag, which looks quite nice. Now, one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a particle system into this just to make it look all fancy as we have a particle effect for it as part of the Infinity Blade effect pack. So what you want to do is go over to template, drop it down and just simply type in loot and there is a really cool particle system that I do like called p underscore deadmans underscore loot. Select this and you're going to see that our gold now pretty much shines and it looks really cool and if I drag it into my scene by just getting rid of the gold text up at the top here, go to my blueprints folder and then drag it into my scene, you can look, that looks pretty nice and because it's got that particle effect, it's sort of enticing the player to walk over it and collect it and it just, just reconfirms in the player's mind exactly what it is. So, with this in your scene, you want to make sure that you take a look at the scale, so if it's too big or too small, go into your components inside of your loop pickup and just change that. But for now, the default stuff looks really nice to me, so I'm going to leave it at that. So we've got that bit set up. What I'm going to do now then is pretty much show you how to get that to spawn at the AI location um, at the feet in particular now. So open up your simple AI and then over here at the end, what we need to do is essentially spawn an actor from the class at the location of the mesh's feet. Now to make this a little bit tidier, a little bit cleaner, what I'm going to do is inside of this simple AI, I'm going to create a function and I'm just simply going to call this def. Now this def function is pretty much going to control everything to make this player die. As of right now, we, all we're doing is simply just, if we go into here, it's just destroying the actor. Instead, we're going to delete destroy actor from here and then we are going to drag it in just like this at the very end making sure we add it in the right place here. So if the player's health goes less than or equal to zero, it's going to destroy the actor for the projectile on both of these. But if it's true, it's going to destroy the character as well. Uh, but open this up and what we've got to do now then is pretty much start putting in the functionality. So first things first, like I said earlier with the, you know, the actor, we want to just spawn actor from class and then 
After this, we are simply going to type in destroy actor and just make sure this isn't connected because we don't want to destroy our, you know, we don't want to destroy the particle system. So what we're going to do now then is we are going to set the class to loot pickup and then for the sp uh, spawn transform what we're going to do is get a reference to the mesh and then simply type in get socket uh, transform actually you know what we're going to do it the proper way we're going to drag this out from spawn transform and type in make transform and then the only one that we're going to get is the location rather than the rotation so drag mesh get socket location and then the one that we're after here is this one and then for the socket name we need to make sure this is 100% correct so what we need to do then is open up our mesh and then pretty much find out what the bone is or a socket is for the player's foot so that way we know 100% it's going to be spawned at the foot rather than the hips the head or anything like that so what I'm going to do then is move this away for a second and I'm pretty much just going to go into my starter content and I'm just going to look for the mannequin Simplest way to get that mannequin, however, is to just go into your viewport, select your static mesh, sorry, your skeletal mesh for the mannequin, and then just press browse to SK mannequin in content browser. And this will find it for you. Open it up, and then inside of here, go to your skeleton. And then on the left hand side, you can see we've got a list of all of the names of all of the bones. The one in particular I'm after is the foot. You could go through this list and find it, but if you also just select locations on this character, you're going to see it's going to give us a little tooltip for the foot name, uh, or the bone name. The bone in particular that I'm after is this one here, so it should be foot underscore R. You can use left or right, it's entirely up to you, but just make note of the name. And that is going to be foot underscore R, and that is perfect. So with this, I'm going to go back to the def function inside of my simple AI blueprint and simply type in in socket name and set this to foot underscore R. There is no capital letters, so make sure you don't put any in. But now, hopefully, if we compile this, press play and then destroy or just, you know, shoot our AI character a few times. Hopefully it should spawn that bag at the AI's location at the bottom uh, of him and you can see we've got it now and you can see it looks really cool really shiny and i am very definitely happy with that you can see it looks really cool so what i need to do now then is pretty much the functionality for picking it up now as of right now i'm just going to make it so that when you collide with it it's just going to destroy itself um, i'm not going to worry about the window for picking up all the assets inside of it just yet that's going to be for another video so Leaving the simple AI now, we don't need that anymore, you can close that, close the mannequin as well, all of that stuff, and this time what we're going to do is we are going to go into our blueprints, and the one I'm after is the loot pickup. What we're going to do now then is pretty much when it begins to overlap with the character, we are simply going to tell it to destroy the actor, um, you could tell it to play a particle effect, um, which we could do, so we'll do that, so other actor, type in cast to third person character just so it knows which actor it's overlapping so other actor is going to be you know whatever's colliding with it anything else is just not going to fire off an event for us so as third person character what you want to do now is just drag this out from here and what we're going to do is simply uh, spawn an emitter at location and we're going to spawn this on the player's location so there should be one for loot pickup you can see here and then for the location as the third person character get actor location hook this up straight into there and then after this what we're going to tell it to do is destroy the actor and this will just get rid of the bag for us so if we compile this now press play and then if we move back a bit shoot this guy a couple of times and then when we pick up the bag it should look really cool so pick up the bag and you can see at the moment it's not picking it up now the reason why it's doing this is because there is not an overlap event being generated when we go over this because there's essentially no collision so what we're going to do again is open up our loop pickup go to viewport select this mesh of ours so static mesh 
scroll all the way down to bottom and then for collision presets set it to overlap all and this is going to now overlap which will essentially allow us to trigger this event we've got here so event actor begin overlap compile this press play and then if we go back shoot him a couple more times hopefully this time it will all work so shoot him three four times collect it and it's still not working. Now I think the reason why it's not working is because this mesh doesn't actually have collision in it. So what we're going to have to do is create a trigger box. So if you ever get that issue when creating blueprints and you know it just doesn't collide, it's probably because there's no collision on the mesh itself. So go to components, type in trigger or you know so we can use something else, so box collision even, chuck it in here and then this will definitely overlap the player which is fine set this to overlap all dynamic compile press play and this will work hopefully so shoot it once twice three times and last one there we go let's go pick it up and you can see that time it disappeared and it played that really cool particle system Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. I hope you guys have all enjoyed it just as much as I have, and you can really see our RPG game coming to life. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.